What's up YouTube, Sharman Xsoft here coming at you guys with our Friday the 13th the game video and today we're going to show and talk all about the stats for all the counselors in the game which Gun Media has just released on their forums page since they're quickly approaching their release time. Now I'm going to be providing a link for it down in my description box below so if you guys want to go ahead and check it out on the forums feel free to go ahead and do that. But also do note that Wes Keltner, one of the game's co-creators, has said that all of the stats could possibly see a few minor tweaks but still, this is pretty close to what we can expect for the launch. Now, before I show each counselor stat, I feel it's very important to explain to you all what each stat actually means or does. So let's start off right here. Let's just go down the list. All right, so composure reduces the rate that fear increases and makes it easier to break free from Jason's grab. Luck increases weapon durability and gives minor increases to many other stats. Intelligence increases repair effectiveness. Speed increases the overall top speed. Stamina increases the overall stamina pool and reduces the stamina cost of actions. Now, Wes Keltner had also released a statement about stamina. I'm gonna read that to you guys right here. He also said that it's important to note that all of the stamina has been tweaked this accounts for the total stamina pool and stamina regen. It says everyone got a slight bump to their stamina regen. So just because you see Deb with a three out of 10 and it says Vanessa is a nine out of 10, don't get too bent out of shape about that. Deborah regens pretty damn quickly while Vanessa not so much. So there are two characteristics relevant to stamina to consider. Once you get in and start playing, you'll see what I'm talking about. But as it is, we feel it gives good differentiation between counselors without making one character super OP while the others not so much. Now we move on to stealth, which reduces the amount of noise generated and Jason's ability to sense. And then lastly, we go on to strength, which increases attack damage with weapons and reduces the stamina cost of combat actions. All right. so. Now that we've got that taken care of and you understand what each of the stats do, let's go ahead and start off with the jock, Brandon Bugsy Wilson, that's right. Now his main high stats appear to be speed, stamina, and strength, with his lowest stat being his intelligence. So in my personal opinion, the jock would be best suited for the player that wants to not only be a fast distraction for other players quickly finding items and bringing them back to the cars and boats and phones, but he can also play well as a protector with his high strength stat to knock Jason to the ground. But just remember, with Brandon's intelligence, you don't want to try to repair stuff with him because if you mess up that skill check and Jason hears it, yeah, you're pretty much as good as dead. Next, we have the nerdy guy, Eric J.R. LaChapa. His main high stats are intelligence, stealth, and luck, with his lowest being stamina. So, in my opinion, the nerdy guy is best suited for a stealthy player that knows how to juke since he doesn't have a lot of speed and stamina to get away. But I'm sure you can easily see this is the main person you want fixing stuff when possible as he will have the easiest skill checks and it will take him almost no time to repair things with the highest intelligence in the game of a 10. Then we have the edgy guy, Adam Palomino, with his highest stats being composure and strength and lowest being luck and stealth. The edgy guy can easily be utilized by a protector style player as not only will he be able to pack a punch with his weapon, but he also has the composure to boot when facing Jason. Just remember when I say protector, I do mean protector, not to be confused with attacker as we all know you really don't want to be squaring off with Jason, but if you see a counselor getting in trouble or getting grabbed by Jason, then use Adam to hit Jason with a bat or something along those lines because with that strength of an 8 you might knock him out for a bit. And remember, with his composure of an 8 as well, if he grabs Adam, he has a higher chance than most with breaking free from Jason's grip. So if you want action, this is the character for you right here. But for now, we'll move on to the head counselor, old Kenny Rydell. His stats are all even with fives across the board. So he's really not strong in one area over the other. He's honestly just even across the board. Like I said, he's more of a well-rounded character. So 
Kenny could be best suited for the player that's just trying to get a feel for the game and trying to figure out what type of role they would like to play as in like repairs or search and deliver or protectors or any of those kinds of things. You know, he also honestly could just be played by anyone who just prefers to do a little bit of everything. So, you know, the choice is yours with him. Now let's take a look at the athletic girl, Vanessa Jones, with her highest stats being speed, stamina, and luck, and her lowest stat being stealth. Now, she was one of the most popular characters for most people during the F-13 beta due to her high speed and stamina. But you have to remember, if you want to play Vanessa, you have to be careful with how you play her. Vanessa is for the players who want to help their team by using her speed and stamina to find items, bringing them back for the players with higher intelligence to install them. You can also use Vanessa's lack of stealth to distract Jason by staying away from the stealthy players so she doesn't give away their positions. Vanessa's speed is amazing, there's no doubt about that, but you have to be careful not to lure Jason over to your stealthy teammates as they usually have the higher repair skills which you will need in order to help yourself escape. Vanessa can be a blessing and she can also be a curse depending on the player using her. Just remember, with Vanessa, with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> then we move on to the flirty girl, with her highest stats being stealth, stamina, and speed, and her lowest being intelligence. She's kind of an oddball, really, since most of the stealthy characters have higher intelligence, and hers is the lowest in the game, just like Brandon's, but Honestly, in my opinion, she's kind of a class of her own. I would say she is for the player that wants to move fast and not attempt to repair anything because she's dumb. <laughs> so if you want to help find items for your team in a more stealthy manner while still being able to hang out with the nerds, this is your girl right there. But please don't try to repair anything with her because nobody wants to die. Leave that job for the bookworms. Then there's the old preppy guy, Chad Kingsington, old Jen the Strain's main squeeze right there. With his highest stats being a luck, speed, and stealth, and his lowest being composure. Now although he has a decent stealth skill of 6, you're still going to want to crouch walk with him when around more stealthy players to reduce noise, but also always remember to use a flashlight with him and keep a weapon handy to help keep his fear in check as well. But with his speed being a 9 and his luck being a 10, he has the lowest chance for his weapons to break when they're used, meaning he can help out quite a bit as a protector role using hit and run tactics when others are in trouble. Now, he may not have the strength to knock out Jason in one hit, but he can quickly run up to a player being grabbed and hit Jason, making him instantly drop them and then quickly running away like the wimp that he is. So keep in mind, he can make a great protector, but with Chad, you have to be mindful of your fear as it can easily give away your position when Jason is using his sensibility. Then we can move on to Jenny Myers, our girl next door right there, guys. Now, her highest stats are going to be Composure, Luck, and Stealth, with her lowest being Strength. Now, everybody knows that your girl next door is kind of like your final girl for the horror movie, so this is going to be a Protector-style character as well for those Protector-style players, but she also has some Stealth. Again, just like Chad right there, old preppy guy, you're going to want to kneel with her when you're around stealthy players, but she does have a lot of luck, so when it comes to hitting Jason, the chance of her weapon breaking is going to be greatly reduced, and she also has a lot of composure, meaning that it is extremely easy for her to go ahead and break Jason's grip. So these are things you need to keep in mind with her, but I would honestly put her into that role for the protector style players. Next we have the bookish girl, Deborah Kim, with her highest stats being in intelligence and stealth and her lowest being strength. She is again for the player that wants to be stealthy when searching while also fast at fixing things to help her team escape, but a lot like Eric LaChapa, taking study hall instead of gym might be the death of her as she's not very fast. So my personal recommendation for the player that really wants to play the bookish girl, just hang out with old Eric LaChapa because you don't always have to be the fastest player on the team to survive, you just have to be faster than LaChapa when Jason's around, and she's barely faster than him, but she's still faster, you know what I mean? <laughs> Now, lastly, we move on to my favorite person to play during the Friday the 13th game beta, and that was the rocker chick AJ Mason. 
Now, AJ's highest stats are stealth, intelligence, and composure, with her lowest being luck. So she is for the player that wants to be stealthy while also being able to easily manage their fear and repair things for the team quickly. But also keep in mind that AJ's strength and luck are really, really low. So if you have to use a weapon against Jason, it's probably going to break very easily. So the best types of weapons that you're going to want to use for her would be either shotguns or flare guns. Those would be the best to use in a pinch for her instead of a melee weapon. Just something to keep in mind for you guys. But personally, my favorite so far would have to be AJ Mason, Deborah Kim, and Chad Kingsington. So that's personally my three top favorites right there. I just enjoy to play the more stealthier type character, and I don't mind using some hit and run tactics from time to time. But let me know what your guys' favorites are down in the comment section down below, and I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped you out. And if it did, please feel free to go ahead and slap that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the Charminati today, and you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and comment below and follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. I'm Charmin XSoft, and as always, thanks for watching, and y'all come back now, you hear?